This is a Pachipasa otus, specifically the caterpillar moth Pachipasa otus of the family Lasiocampidae, and is also one of the largest of this family. Let's talk a little bit more about habitat. This moth prefers warm coastal areas and is found in southern Europe, Balkan, Italy and Greece. Subsequently, Israel, Asia Minor, Iraq, Iran, Armenia. There is also a known case where the moth was recorded at an altitude of 1100 meters, but these are really only unique cases. Let's talk a bit about the history of this species. This species was first described by entomologist Drew Drury in 1773. He was an accomplished collector and had a collection that numbered up to 11,000 species, mostly butterflies. Pachipasa otus has a much deeper history, however, as it was first mentioned by Aristotle in the 4th century. There is a chance that this species was the source of the Roman Coa vestis. Coa vestis is an ancient type of cloth. The name derives from the Greek island of Kos. However, after the advent of Chinese silk, it was no longer profitable to exploit this species. The entire life cycle takes place in the vicinity of where Cupressus sempervirens grows, which serves as its main source of natural food. The caterpillar feeds on several other species in the Cupressaceae family, such as the classic garden Thuja occidentalis or Juniperus, a lesser-known species of nutritious plant is Pistacia lentiscus. The eggs of this moth are the largest of the Lasiocampidae family. The surface of the egg is dull and mottled. The grey colour is mixed with brown spots. Interestingly, in eggs of other species, we can detect an impending hatch by changing the colour of the egg. In Arctiocardia, for example, the eggs turn completely black the day before hatching. When the caterpillar hatches, we notice at first glance that it is a complete copy of the adult caterpillar and has perfect camouflage from the first minute. It has long bristles along its sides and its entire body is covered with hairs that mimic the bark of a tree. When the caterpillar is in danger, it stops moving and sticks out two strips of deep orange hairs that can cause allergies. The chrysalis looks like any other. We can tell by the difference in pupil size that the females are larger. But the pupa is hidden in a pre-made cocoon that is glued together with microfibers. The moth itself is not brightly coloured. Instead, like the caterpillar, the moth also mimics the texture of the tree's surface. The female is darker than the male and has a much more robust body. The caterpillar hatches from the egg in about two weeks, which is quite a long time compared to other species. The caterpillar grows for a very long time. On average, it takes around six months, but often longer. Some of them have diapause in the stage of the caterpillar. Once it reaches the final stage, it starts looking for a place to pupate, either in a tree or in the surrounding environment. The butterfly hatches within three weeks, and from the first moment, it looks for a mating partner. Although it is not as attractive as other moth species, it is a very interesting species in terms of its history and mystery. And don't forget when you come across it to be careful of the orange stripes. <laughs>